Hey, uh, this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. Today we're going to be looking at our XLED Pro. Um, so this unit is actually a 2.4 millimeter diameter, which is one of the smallest video scopes that we make. Um, when you get your set, it's going to come in a carrying case. Um, normally the XLED Pro is the probe with tip articulation. And then usually there's a HDMI connection to a TV or a USB connection uh, to a computer. Um, or you can get it with a setup with the X Capture monitor. So this is actually a seven inch touchscreen monitor. Um, you would use this to do most of your inspections, or like I said, you could just use a HDMI TV connection. Um, right now we've got everything hooked up, so we'll turn it on and we'll kind of show you how that works. So on the back here, you'll turn on the power for this, and then we'll also turn on the power for this unit. Um, ideally, you're going to want to take your protective sleeve off of your probe. So on the XLED, you've got a tungsten sheathing, which goes over top of the uh, internal wiring. And then you've got your camera chip at the tip with your LED lights and then also your articulation wires. So on your handle here, you'll have your articulation movement to go side to side. So 90 degrees one way and then a bit better. If you stretch it out and have the probe a bit stronger and straighter, you can actually go a bit further too. So you notice that the tip will articulate a bit better. Um, normally you want to keep it as straight as you can when you're doing your inspections. This will give you your most uh, strength for movement of the, of the tip. If you ever have your cable twisted up, you can do it when you're holding it normally, but you don't want to articulate it this way because you're going to be grinding the cables inside the probe. So you never really want to keep it like this. You want to have it straight and down as much as you can, and then try to insert it and use the tip as you need to. On the monitor, you'll see there's no image because we're looking pretty far away. But once you get close up, you'll notice that there is more. You can also increase the lights on the back. So on the back, you'll have your button here to increase the LED illumination. So you can increase this, and then also on the monitor, there's a brightness setting, so you can increase the brightness on the monitor too. So this will help get a better, clearer image for what you're trying to look at. Um, and then you can also save images and video this way. So I'll try to set this up. So we're looking here on the bottom of the probe. To do image and video capture, like we said, there's a touch screen, so you can do image capture just at the bottom. You can do, it'll tell you that it's saved, you can preview it. Video, same thing, top, you'll see that the square turns red. You can stop recording. It'll tell you to wait and then it'll say that it's saved. There's also a capture button on the side. So on TV, this will do a freeze frame. With this, if you just hold down the button, it'll capture an image for you as well. So you'll see that it saved an image there. Um, additionally, on the monitor, you can zoom in and out. So this is zoomed out right now, zoom in. There's three different stages. And then settings, you can increase your gain and also your expo uh, exposure. So you can turn up the image quality as well that way if you wanted to. So you can play around with this. Depending on what you're looking at, if you're in a really dark area looking at something dark, you're going to want to have everything turned up higher. If you're in an area that has a really uh, reflective surface, you're going to want to turn everything down so that you're not getting a bunch of feedback. So as you get closer to something that's bright, you will notice there's feedback on the screen. You can either change the LED lights or you can play around with the settings on the screen as well to help combat that. Files are saved on the system. So there's a built-in hard drive. Um, on the side, you'll have a USB. So you can take the files off of the unit, or sometimes you can use a cable as well. So there'll be a cable attachment, so you can put the files onto a hard drive or onto a USB stick. So after you've done some inspections, you can go to File Manager, open the folder that you've just done, click Open, and you'll see that you can get the files that you've captured from that day. And so this way you can review what you've done and look at images from your last inspection. And then you can go back to live mode and capture more images and video.